Hello, I'm Regina Price, and this is... I'm Todd Kruger, and I'm the chair of the Natural Sciences at College of the Albemarle. And we are here today to show you how to create a sound sandwich. And so we have already created one, and we're going to show you how to create one and what's going to cause that sound to come out of your sandwich. That's right. If you've never done this before, uh, that's okay. This is an unusual thing we're doing. We're trying to make sound out of ordinary household objects like popsicle sticks, rubber bands, and straws. So, how do we get started making one of these? All right, so first you need two popsicle sticks and make sure you have two of the same size. So I have the larger, larger ones, Mr. Kruger, he has the smaller ones, but they're going to both give you the same effect, okay? So next you are going to need rubber bands, and last, you need two pieces of straw that are one inch long. So I have my scissors and I have a ruler. I'm trying to be precise. And so I have my ruler and I'm just going to lay my straw up here and I'm gonna cut it to one inch so that I have everything that I need in order to be able to make the sound sandwich, okay? So if you need a parent, if you need an adult, run, get them or raise your hand so someone can come and help. All right, should we start assembling our sound sandwiches? Let's get started. All right, so what do we start with? So first, you're gonna take one popsicle stick and you're gonna take one of your larger rubber bands and you're gonna put it from end to end. Okay, so I want my rubber band to be nice and flat. Like, I have an issue if something's not exactly right. I don't want it. That's good. I think the flatter the rubber band, the better this will work. So that's a good goal to have. All right. So next, okay. one piece of your straw, you're going to put it underneath your rubber band. All right. Of course, mine doesn't want to go. So I'm going to take the other piece of straw and do what you're doing. But it's going to go one third of the way, right? So I have a larger one, okay? So you want to put it one third of the way. So that's it first. Okay. So now I'm going to make sure that I have my second piece of straw. So I'm going to cut this to one inch using my ruler because I'm trying to be precise. And so with my second piece, now this one is going to go over top. It doesn't go underneath the rubber band. All right. And it's going to go one third of the way from the other end of your popsicle stick. All right, so that one goes on this end, again, one third of the way. Okay. Now you're going to take your second popsicle stick and you're going to put it on top and that's gonna create your sandwich. Don't squeeze too hard because you don't wanna flatten your straws out. And remember, you have the two smaller rubber bands, so you're gonna put them on the ends here. And you wanna pinch the end, but you don't wanna pinch it too tight that your straws are flat. Because remember, you want that sound to come through, okay? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and copy what you did. Got one straw tucked under the rubber band and one straw on top of the rubber band, right? Yes. All right. And I'm going to put the other popsicle stick on top. All right. And then a couple of rubber bands around the edges. All right. You want to pinch the end, but don't close off the air from getting through your straws. Okay. All right. So make sure you have room. You should be able to see through. Little gentle rubber band on the ends to hold everything in place. Great job. Yes. Okay. So now let's see if our sound sandwiches work. Okay. Let's hold them up and let's blow. Ah! Great job. Oh, this one worked well. <laughs> See, mine was pretty good, but it's acting up today. <laughs> well, that's why it's good to start experimenting with all the different pieces here. 
See if you can move the rubber bands back and forth, maybe make it a little looser, maybe move the positions of the straws. Try different arrangements and see if you can make the sound more solid. Okay. All right, so we got that sound coming out of our sandwich. Mr. Kruger, what's making that sound? <laughs> Some science, that's what's making that sound. So basically, anytime you hear a sound, what you're really hearing is a vibration in the air. So the air around us is made up of all kinds of little air molecules. If those hit your eardrum inside your ear at just the right speed, what we call the frequency of vibration, you're going to hear a sound. All I need is something to vibrate. So inside our sound sandwiches, we have one rubber band. Basically, we have one vibrating bit of rubber in between the two straws. If you look into your sound sandwich, you can see one little diagonal strip of rubber band. And if you could look at it as you blow, you would see that strip of rubber band oscillates back and forth. It vibrates and slaps against the bottom and the top of your sound sandwich and creates that vibration, which bumps all the air molecules around it those air molecules go on to bump other air molecules, which go on to bump other air molecules until eventually you get air molecules in your ear vibrating at just the right rate, just the right frequency or pitch in order to create a sound that we can hear. All right. So what does this sound sandwich remind you of? Is there an instrument that you've seen before that reminds of us of a harmonica? And so you can actually make sounds that resemble a song. That's right. I'm not going to try, but <laughs> try it at home. Exactly. All right. Make sure that you get your sound sandwich working and then work with your friends to actually create a song. That's right. Get a bunch of these together. You could probably make a pretty good concert. <laughs> <laughs> guys. We had fun making these with you. Enjoy using your new sound sandwich. We'll see you at the next STEM event.